Yeah, we need some we need to see some gameplay though. Oh yeah. Kenny? Yeah, enjoy that. All right. Don't toy with us. Don't you fuck around with us. Hello, and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles, and thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level Give us a date, they already did, October 25th. The game. I've been working here for over 20 years, and I can tell you that we have something special on our hands with Black Ops 6. And I know that the team are excited to give you a deep dive into our campaign and global innovations across the entire game. Oh man, I might come this back. Looks sick. This looks sick. This looks sick. I like the way back. that red dot looked. With Black Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era, the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy oh, yeah, where dude. a shadowy force has infiltrated the Best highest COD levels in the next the five years, government. guaranteed. Branding anyone who resists dude, Treyarch, as traitors I, I trust and them to forcing watch my players newborn. to go rogue for the first time <laughs> to fight the very machine <laughs> that created them. Treyarch, the team bro, is meticulously crafting every aspect of the game back? to deliver the fun and attitude players expect from the Black Ops franchise. Oh, oh yeah! Look oh, at that. slide dive. I want to know who that they had play testing though, Omni and why I wasn't system. there. I don't think we're getting shotsy movement here. And move like an action hero. Whoa! We'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Round based zombies. Is Was he diving and shooting? Better than ever, and you can be sure it's full of surprises. Oh, they're that, saying doors. Let's step into the mind bending Not doors. Uh, yeah, I don't really love them, but with our partners at Raven. That's that that's the yeah, that's the least of our worries. Russell Former Adler. I may have become a new enemy. Was he in the most recent uh, campaign? For the Black Ops single player campaign, we prioritized mission variety and unique experiences. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. Oh, hell yeah. That's fire. We to take players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Within these missions, we wanted games. I'm liking the landscape we're seeing ways. right now. We got a lot of like open to navigate through them as they see fit. Ideas for like where cod maps. Different combat styles. We also Give us a casino have map. conversation opportunities where you can talk That'd be so sick. and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them all. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at his map. There's P1. Look at his map. There's P1 right there P1 in the middle. Right there. Oh, man. There's Tony. Get there now. <laughs> no ADS? He's just hip firing? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. There we go. This looks sick, though. This yeah, looks no, far. This looks tight. Some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission that takes place in a Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, Southern my Europe. God. It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is I'm getting Cold War vibes from like another one of I'm our getting Cold War vibes. Set in the harsh tundra of northern Russia. Which is a good thing. Can somebody hit an omnidirectional fucking die? New equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RC! RC cars. Oh, shit. Adrenaline stem. <laughs> Did I just see Stim shot? Please, ah! Uh! Stims are back. No way. Dude, this is giving me super Cold War vibes. The I'm campaign is it. grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. Cold but War. This time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So, it's in an abandoned manner by an ocean cliffside. 
What's most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational during the 50s and 60s. This brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore. Dude, Chad, I can't take you guys anywhere, man. The team is Every time a girl shows up on the screen, it's mayhem board, in here. Which is still the centerpiece of the safe house experience. But with brand new upgrades, What's going on? players can view the campaign outline, gain deeper insights into missions, and analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Okay. Capture. Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go. Damn, he's hella strong. That was sick. Okay. That was fire. I that think we got crazy. It. Um, this is it. Here we go. This is it. Is to yeah, we love this guy. Yeah, that's gross. Players immersed across every single mode. Yeah. They're we sliding. We at every corner to innovate and craft. Yeah! The most signature Black Ops experience for our players. Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with oh Black my Ops, oh my we're God. redefining movement across the entire game. <laughs> it looks hella like fast so though. Like you don't. This hang. looks sick. And you know what I'm saying? This is this is awesome. Like a true Black Ops action hero with an entirely new Yo, global what system the we call fuck? Omni Movement. Holy shit. But you know this what I'm saying? Like the, the, the dive to, to the like left, like you don't stay in the air long. Chain combat maneuvers like slide, it looks smooth. Dive, run yeah. back or dude. supine prone in full what? 360 degrees range of motion. What? what? No way. From the beginning, we started with you can't do this thing. Why? Oh, AG's about to be nuts too. People actually move that way. be on the floor. AG's about to be looking backwards. Construct? And then instantly it <laughs> <laughs> on his belly. Like, oh, he's on his back now. He's not even on his belly. You can dive in any direction. You could slide in any direction, which then led to all the on the ground movement and everything else chaining together. Oh, oh my God, Yo, bro, this looks up? crazy. It's really been something that changes how you think and play the game, whether it's campaign, MP, or zombies. We truly believe that once you experience Omni movement. There's no going back. There's no going back. Is that them saying this is it forever? Maybe. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options, and they're broken down oh, into three categories. Oh, man, look at the menus. menus. Sprint assist, look at the menus. Assist, Tax sprint behavior. I love the orange. I love the orange. Each of these will allow for fine tuning. Intelligent movement really started with this Button idea that we want zero? all players what? to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. We want every player, regardless of skill level or input or experience with Call of Duty, to be able to engage with Omni Movement and live out their own action hero fantasy in Black Ops 6. But dude, that is yo, yeah. that slide looked crazy, like dude. Where they have these looked fast settings that can be turned on and off. Things like traction control. It looks like I'm gonna breaking. need to be really caffeinated to play this taking one. That thinking and applying it to our own movement options. Huh. I don't think this is a one-size-fits-all thing, and I encourage players to play around with combos of these settings to really dial in their preferred setup. Hit zones are regions on a character that react when taking damage or dying. In past games, we've only had four regions. For Black Ops 6, we've actually increased that to nine regions. Uh -huh. so now we can determine if that what? enemy was shot in their left leg or right leg, and then we'll play a bespoke death animation I hope that shit's depending like accurate. on the location that they were hit. Oh my god. So world connectivity is this concept that players' movement and reactions are connected to the world based on I feel their like choices. adding more hitboxes and example, like more really damages is a I don't know if feature I... we call corner slicing. Where as you run the that. corner or go through a doorway, your weapon's gonna dynamically rotate in the direction that you're rounding that corner. And since it's dynamic, it'll be a bit more dramatic oh, if what you're slowly the... clearing a room, but won't affect you at all if you're barreling full speed this around. This map the looks same dope. Corner. We were constantly it looks like an actual new Call of Duty. Yo, this might animations in Black Ops 6. actually bang. Oh, it's for animations, not hitboxes. Okay. Take cover. Ah, there's gonna be 800 attachments. In Black Ops 6, we really strive for <laughs> striking that balance between real and hyper real, but we want to ground our effects in realism. We find real world reference so that we can match that motion 
the weight, the timing, then riff off of that and create that hyper real look that everybody has come to know and love from Call of Duty. Yo, are they fucking snapping? They are cooking. They're cooking. HUD! The Black Ops the HUD. 6 user experience is all about focusing no players more Hulu, on what they please. need when they yep. talk to me. And our no more HUD Hulu. No different. Talk to me. From the mini-map to the ammo oh, yes. to in-game notifications. Oh my, oh my god, it's Cold War! Oh my god, it's Cold War! This is sick. Experience. Oh my god. For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance, Whoa. Streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. What? Or maybe you can move your mini map to the right side? Away. What? Uh, Want to yeah. play hardcore anywhere? Or finally put the mini map in the bottom left? I'll be keeping Those mine default. As well. Not only does the HUD give players important If you status, can make the mini map bigger though, that's kind of crazy. Helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. Oh, Early prestigious. Please. Yes, this is also our boy. And XP matter more than ever. Please. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community for how we used to handle prestige. Yes! Come on! Traditional prestige is back yes! in Call of Duty. Yes! Black Ops 6. We've That's pulled awesome. the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems. I mean, wow! And going bigger and more rewarding than ever. We're doing the race. We players have to. We got to do player it. Player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Black Ops Six will Let's have Let's go. Ten we got to do it. Each with a valuable set of rewards to earn. And did you say ten prestiges? Ten. Oh, yep. Ten. Oh. Players who make it through Prestige Ten aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through. Whoa! And a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough. We are to doing the race. The you heard it here first. The full Prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops wow. Six. Wow, I'm throbbing. Yeah. Yeah! Let's go! We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one yeah, has yeah. been Talk to about craft skill -based. an approachable and engaging step change Let's get of that ping, signature ping base. Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. Doug. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive <laughs> those action hero moments in theater mode. Yeah! Which we're happy to announce Let's go! With Black Ops 6. Now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today, but of course that means you're gonna get some early details on maps. Yes! We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 <laughs> all new MP maps. We've got 12 core, oh my God, and four bro. strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. Show what do me. players like? What do we know that they want? So we're back to our classic three lane map. Oh, yes! What are they doing? Experiences They're giving us everything we want. More medium size. <laughs> oh, like what are they doing? Hardcore pacing to keep the action flowing, but still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. The maps have Let's their own clutter. stories. Let's clutter. Let's clutter. Say it, please. We have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. Three lane maps. Bro, those maps looked insane. We've covered a lot today, but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing. Give it to me. Yeah! Zombies. Oh, dude. Oh my God. We're this running is gonna zombies. be this, We're this is gonna be incredible. Too. This is incredible. Are we fucking back? Bro, we are so back right are now. Are we back? Round base zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. What an absolute pleasure. A Seriously. A bravo. This and is sick. Bro, the maps, the guns, even the new movement looks sick too. Well done. Wow. Unbelievable. Well done. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, talk about a monumental W. Everyone loved that.
Standing ovations are in order. Call they really I'm did just feet. six. I'm on my feet. I mean, Black seriously. Six. Scump returning to competitive. Methods returning. Octane returning. Zuma returning. Everybody's back. I don't know about that one, Chief. Oh, enough with these balloons. Oh. Wow. The fucking enough. balloons out of here, Tom. Get these balloons off my screen. A flight simulator. Shove it up your ass. Um. I mean, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.